Hello everybody and welcome to another Origami Wednesday. Yes, that's right. It's time for more burbs for the summer. I think this looks like a parakeet. You know, one of the little yellow ones at the store? I think they're parakeets. I'm really bad with burbs. But that's okay. These are pretty good because they do stand up. Um, I will say I figured out how to get them to stand up relatively easily. See this guy is a little drunken. He's like, oh no, that's cuz. And I'll show you why when we get there. This is one of those folds that I really enjoy uh, because I feel like it's kind of like the inception of the ice cream cone. So we have our paper. All right, we're gonna fold it diagonally. Give that a good hard crease. I'm gonna open it up and now I'm gonna do an ice cream cone fold. So from the center point down the middle. Oops, and we're just gonna adjust that a little bit. Ah, close enough for government work. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other side, only better. Yes. There we go, and I can adjust this first guy if I really want to, but I think it's okay, I think it'll be all right. All right, so we have our first, oh no, he tore. All right, there we go. Nobody will know, don't tell. So, we have our first ice cream cone. Now I'm going to flip it, and I'm gonna fold this part back. Okay, so it's gonna be a triangle for just a moment. I'm gonna flip it again, and I'm gonna fold this edge over. Give that a nice hard crease. I'm gonna fold this edge over. Give that a nice hard crease. And why did I do that? Because now we're gonna flip these guys inside out. And the better your crease is when you do that, the easier this is for you. Okay. So now we have two little flappies at the top. We're gonna lay it down. But then we're going to fold these guys out like this. So we have our spaceship shape. I enjoy the spaceship shape, okay. Now, first we're going to fold like this. So I'm gonna fold, uh, I'm estimating about halfway here. Pull that guy out and then I'm gonna do the same on this side. Now they're not gonna line up exactly. The important thing here is that these two angles are pretty similar, okay? It doesn't have to be the same. And look, you can check it. You can fold them like this and see they line up pretty well. Now I'm gonna fold his tail feathers up. Now, when I said earlier, this is how he stands up so well. Because we have folded his feet up first before we do his tail feathers, his center of, of balance, his, the words I want aren't there, but his, his center of gravity is gonna be a little higher up, so it's actually gonna work a little bit better for us. So we fold that, and then I'm gonna fold this down just a little bit, maybe, oh, I don't know quarter of an inch or so, and then I'm gonna tuck his tail back behind his, what will be his feet, and I'm gonna fold him up. Okay, now my guy has a little green head. Okay, so he's gonna stand up pretty well here when we're all done. Then I'm gonna take his head, and this is one of those kind of tricky, because you want him to have a beak, but you don't want him to have too much of a beak. So he's gonna, it's gonna get folded just like that. Da -ding! I'll put this paper underneath so you can see a little bit better. Okay, you're gonna give him an eyeball. I personally like a big high eyeball right here. Um, on this one, I put it too close to the front and it really just looks like a far back nostril. And then I figured out, oh look, if I put his eye back here, he's definitely, well, he's definitely a prey animal, but that's okay. Hi, further back. And he's just a little parakeet and he's so cute. And like I said, his center of gravity, I guess is for, forward more. So he's better able to stand up than if it, we had folded his tail first. I did try that. That's what happened with this guy and he just falls over. Drunken bird, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, that is burb number two for the summer, yay! I hope you guys have a great week. We will see you next week with more Origami Wednesday.